made it to the beach. We just got here. We walked in, walked around the premises, went and looked at like the pool in the back. Um, it's not a house, we're in like a, it's not a hotel either. It's, I guess it's condos. Anyway, went and took a look around and then we just brought all of our stuff up. I'll give you guys a tour. So this is the front. This is what you see when you walk in. It's kind of dark. In there. This is the first bedroom. Whoa. Hey. Uh... Okay, bye. So Nikki and Aaron are in their bathroom there. Then the kitchen. We're doing some unpacking. Refrigerator. Of course, I had to bring a blend jet. You come over here and this is where Johnny and I will be. So this is gonna be Johnny's bed and that's gonna be mine. The last room we stayed in together. Last year, if you watched that vlog, was like it felt like a dungeon. Fan was creaky, we didn't have a window and it was like these two twin beds and it was just like this really dark room. <laughs> so this is where we are. We have our own bathroom closet. And then this is the rest. So dining area, living room, TV. Got this giant closet here. And then that's gonna be the master. They've got their nice big bathroom. And then we have the view. Oh, my battery's gonna die. So here's our little porch. So cute. Beach out there. And we have pools at the bottom. That is the tour. It's about 6 p.m. so we're probably gonna figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Maybe take a walk on the beach and that'll probably it, probably be it for today. I'll vlog whatever is next, but I need to change my battery. Hey guys, we're taking pictures of Zoe. Trying to find a good angle right now. Should I keep the hat on? No. This looks like I'm like undercover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just untuck your hair. I kind of like it without. This is Aaron. Hey. I'll film later. We've already been down to the beach, but now we're at the pool and there's this like little area here that we're taking pictures of. Wait, you look cute in the hat. She does, right? Okay, that's the update. I don't know what's next. I think we're just gonna hang out at the pool for a little bit and then... And then we're making tacos for dinner. Okay, bye. We're back inside and Nikki made like a, like a schedule for each day that includes what we're doing and who has to cook dinner. And we're literally just like listening. <laughs> So tonight is our first full day and Nikki and I are responsible for making dinner tonight and we're doing tacos. So I'm cutting up maters and she's doing the meat which she already has ready over there. And then I think everything else is like already, yeah. like sour cream and lettuce Jeez. we already have. You just do that yourself, so. I'm just gonna cut up the tomato. <laughs> it's my only job, really. Well, I didn't really think about how this is just a, kind of a one person Okay, tacos are ready. This is the taco meat. And then we have tomatoes, sour cream, lettuce, and cheese. Oh, where are the tortillas? Tortillas, over here. Gluten-free for Aaron. Time to chow down. next day it's really cloudy today but we're down at the beach i don't know how long we'll be down here because it honestly looks like it's about to rain mom and dad are not down here but it's just us kids i'm gonna go in look how cute this bathing suit is got it for 20 dollars at airy okay i'm gonna go in before it rains okay i just went in the water and i'm about to read on my phone i did bring a book i'm reading jane Eyre, but yesterday it was really windy and i took out my book and the pages went flying like the actual there was a chunk of pages that came out of the book and flew away and i had to run after it and i got it but i just figured you know what i'm not gonna take the book on the beach i'll leave the actual book for when i'm inside but i got the kindle app on my phone like through amazon and i got the book i only had to pay two dollars 
dollars for it so when I'm actually on the beach I'm just gonna read on my phone and I'm so pleased with technology right now also what's interesting is it's Monday but I'm off of work but I'm still getting like a bunch of messages and emails and stuff and I'm just like trying to find that okay how urgently do I respond do I respond like I literally don't know <laughs> okay I'm gonna read and enjoy my my cloudy beach day I'm not even wearing sunscreen so I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad for me Another beach day, done. Except we actually didn't really go down to the beach for very long. We were down there for like 45 minutes to an hour. And then we went over to the pool and it was like raining literally the whole time, but we stayed. But we just came up, it's a little after five right now. And I think I'm just gonna shower. I don't know what the plan is today. I don't think anything really. I think Nikki, Aaron, and my mom are making dinner tonight. That's what the little chart says. <laughs> so we'll probably just be in for the night, I guess. I might start getting my vlog footage into Final Cut because I'm filming two videos while I'm here. It's gonna get really like probably overwhelming because it's all on one camera. So I need to probably organize all of my footage. All clean. Wow, the lighting in this room is truly atrocious. This is our only window. It's really quite dark. I'm trying to decide if I would like to leave my hair down or <coughs> a clock thinking. It looks kind of like slay right now because it's not fully dry so i think i'm gonna leave it and then after a while maybe i'll put it up i don't know just updating you guys on my inner thoughts i'm starting to get a little hungies hey it is the next day today is tuesday this is our second full day no this is our third full day wow time is flying on by i just put some leave-in conditioner in my hair put it in a bun i'm gonna see if that does anything for me when i go in the water there are no clouds in the sky right now and i actually don't think it's gonna rain again until like friday as you have seen it rained basically all day yesterday the day before there it was like cloudy a little bit so today it's like full sun we just got a new umbrella because our other one broke <laughs> just got my bathing suit on and I'm gonna get my bag packed. This whole thing, this and this and my bottoms are from Burlook. I don't know if they're popular <coughs> or not, but they gifted me all of this for an Instagram post. And it has become my favorite bathing suit. I love it, it's reversible. So I've done like the brown and today I'm doing the purple. I didn't film much down at the beach, but we're done. We're back up. We're about to go to this place called Barefoot Landing where they have like <laughs> a bunch of shops and restaurants and stuff. That's where the Christmas store is. If you watched my last Family Beach vlog and the year before, we've gone to Barefoot Landing. This is, I guess, gonna be our third year in a row, maybe, maybe more, but third that I at least remember and recall. And that has been vlogged. So we're going there. I'm about to shower and get ready. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with my hair. This is like just what it looks like after being in the ocean. Pretty sick! Um, but we'll see <laughs> what it looks like as I'm like out for the rest of the night. It's probably perhaps gonna be a mess by the end of the night, but I'm gonna bring a scrunchie and a clock clip. I think tomorrow we're going to take a day trip to Charleston, which I'm very excited for because I've never been and I've always wanted to go. I've heard it's like just really pretty and I believe they have beaches down there as well. So we're gonna do a little day trip tomorrow. Just an update. Gonna go shower and get all of the sunscreen and sand off of my body. We're off to Barefoot Landing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> My hair is still looking good. I'm nervous to see what it's gonna look like by the end of the night, but it is fully dry, so I feel like it's just gonna continue looking like this. I'll show you the my outfit. This is from Aerie, I'm wearing a really long bra underneath. Okay, slay. We're in the Christmas store. Oh my gosh, I might have to get one. 
We had this sitting on our couch at oh, the yeah. cottages. You should get one. I have to get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's give it a sniff. Yo, camera. Let's sniff this. I'll afford it. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Let me try this one. Made it to the fall section. great first camera. I'm gonna keep it for a while because it was expensive, but it keeps doing the thing where I press record and I the viewfinder flips upside down. You can't tell. I'm still right side up for you, but it's harder for me to film that way and I have to like put it down and then flip it back up for it to go back to normal and it just like goes upside down randomly. We are going to Charleston today, so it's like almost nine right now and yesterday I didn't have any product in my hair. I just had salt water in it and it held up throughout the day it looked fine but because we we're like going somewhere today i needed to do something with it i tried to work some magic stuck my head under the faucet and put some product in it we'll see how it lasts throughout the day but i'm just going to get dressed i'm going to use white shorts from american eagle and i'm going to put on a green tank top that i can't remember where i got it from it might have been lucky penny maybe but i'm going to put on that tank top probably not yet because my hair is still wet and my least favorite thing in the world is feeling wet hair on my back so I'm gonna leave this on for a while. Gosh, I can like see the sand in my hair. Checking out the fort. What what fort is this called? Just a fort. I'm gonna have to look at it when we get out there. In Sullivan's Island. I think it's called Fort Moultrie. There was a tombstone of a guy named Moultrie. Or General Moultrie. General Moultrie. Born in 1730 to 1803. That's so long ago. Charleston has pretty trees though. I know it's windy, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. I put a towel around my camera to try and mask it. But I wanted to tell you guys that Charleston was kind of a bust because we went and one, it was really hot. Two, we arrived like all really hungry. So we went on King Street, which is I guess their famous street with a bunch of shops. They had a lot of shops. I wanted to go in like every single one of them and a lot of them were really fancy. Like they had Gucci and Louis Vuitton, but then also like Airy and Lulu and stuff like that. So they had a lot of really great stores, but we were looking for food and that street didn't have much food. So we were just like walking around aimlessly looking for food. Went into a Chipotle and stood there for like 10 minutes and no one looked at us or talked to us and it was really weird and like rude. <laughs> so we left and then we went to Chick-fil-A, got our food. They had no taste tables in there but they had this like ledge so we were eating there and then they were like sorry you can't eat in here so we were like okay I don't know why this thing is here then so we left and went to this patio and ate our chick-fil-a there but after that it was like we were so hot and tired and annoyed that we just left <laughs> 
We didn't end up going to the beach. We did go to Fort something. I don't remember what it was called, but I said it earlier. So we went there and like overall, it wasn't the worst trip ever, but it also wasn't the best. I would like to go back again when it's like fall or spring or something and it's not blistering hot because it might be better. I don't know, we'll see. But I had always wanted to go and it did not live up to my expectations, but I also think it was because I was hot and hungry for most of the time and then also annoyed at the workers. <laughs> Then we got back, went to the beach just now for like literally 10 minutes while the sun was still out. It's still out, but <clears throat> it's not sunny because it's like 6 or 7 p.m. now. But now we're sitting at the pool and having a good old time. So that's the update. I just showered. I feel so clean and refreshed and not sticky anymore. I felt sticky literally all day because Charleston was so hot and there was so much sweat exuding from my body. But I showered, I actually washed my hair to detangle it and get a little bit of moisture in there even though I'm going right back in the ocean tomorrow. But yeah, I also just moisturized and now I'm gonna go eat some dinner and that's probably the end of today. Today was an okay day. We did some exploring and we were all a little bit miserable, but overall, good day. It ended on a good note we came back went in the ocean went in the pool i feel so clean now which automatically puts me in a better mood and i'm gonna eat some yummy din actually i'll show you what's for dinner why not right Gosh, I'm so tired of this wind. Another reason why I would be in the market for a new camera is because there's nowhere to put a wind muffler on this camera. But if I get a different one, I could get one of those little wind mufflers. Wind is really something. Like I wanna be able to film up here with no problem, but like you can hear the wind so clearly, it's so annoying. So I have to like cut my hands around the camera. I don't know if this is even doing anything, but we're trying. But hey, today is Thursday and all we've done today is go down to the beach. I didn't even go down to the pool. I was down at the beach all day. So this is like the first time I'm saying hi today. So hey, we're going out to dinner at this place I forget what it's called, but the name Broadway is in it. So somewhere in Myrtle Beach with the name Broadway. We're going out to dinner. I'm excited. So I just showered and tried to make my hair look semi-presentable. I put a little claw clip in it. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> I feel like I've been wearing this in a lot of the clips that I've showed so far, but I'm wearing a tank top. I just hate the feeling of wet hair on my back, so I just keep putting this t-shirt on. I'm just sitting out on the balcony. I might get my laptop and watch some Big Brother while I'm out here, because it feels really good and peaceful and wonderful. of Myrtle Beach, right? I don't remember the last update I did. 
I don't think I filmed much today because with these types of videos, it gets a little bit redundant. Like if I'm in one place for an entire week, it's like I'm not gonna film the same thing over and over again. But today we spent a lot of time at the pool. I actually didn't go in. We were there for a bit and then I eventually went with my parents over to the beach. I went in the water only once. Today was not much of a, a water day. Don't know why, but that's literally all we did today. So I was like, there's really not much to film here. But now we're back. I put some conditioner in my hair and detangled. I'm wearing this cute claw clip I wore yesterday too. I love it. It's from Kitsch, I think is how you say the brand. And I think it's so cute, but I feel like these little butterfly clips are everywhere nowadays. Now we're making some dinner. We're doing some potato salad and jerk chicken. That's literally gonna be our night, I'm pretty sure. Today was a very... Today was a very lax day. We're not going anywhere or doing anything, just relaxing. And that's the way it should be. I've already started editing this vlog. So I'll probably get this footage in and continue editing, watch some more Big Brother. Fun fact about me, I love Big Brother, like so much. And Netflix just put two random seasons on there. They put season 10 and season 14. I haven't seen those. Well, I'm probably over halfway done with season 14. And then I'll probably watch 10. I don't know why I chose to do that one first, I think, I don't know. But it's so good, and so I'll probably watch more of that tonight. Tomorrow is our last day. There's only a little bit more left of this video. I hope you enjoy the rest. Starving to death. Ooh, that's hot. We're back up from the beach. It's about 6 p.m. We are going to the boardwalk tonight, I believe, for dinner, even though <laughs> I didn't have lunch. So when we came up here, I was starving to death and ate a bunch of food, so I'm not hungry right now, but hopefully I'll be hungry by the time we get down there and walk around for a little bit. We got up and I'm gonna go wash my hair and get ready. I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet to the boardwalk, but probably something simple. I did bring two dresses that I haven't worn the whole time we've been here. So maybe I'll wear those, I don't know, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna do some, well, my mom is gonna do some French braids on my hair and it's gonna be so cute. I haven't done French braids in a while. Honestly, probably since last summer. Last summer's beach trip is probably the last time I did French braids. Wow. Hey besties, I'm home. I'm back in my bed. We got home probably uh, an hour and a half maybe ago. I've already unpacked all of my things. I've just been laying here on my phone listening to the New Girl podcast. I am so tired. I fell asleep twice in the car ride home. I'm just so tired. I think it all just like caught up to me and hit me today. Like now that the trip is over, I'm like, wow, that like so much fun. But just like being at the beach for a week and like in the hot sun is so draining. And I'm so happy to be home. Tonight, I'm going to to watch a movie in my bed and I can't wait. I'm on the edge of my seat. Before that though, cause right now it's only four, I'm going to do some editing cause I would like to get this vlog up as soon as I can. And then I would like to go get some popcorn for my movie night tonight. And that is going to be the rest of my Sunday. Back to work tomorrow. I don't even get like a day to like really get myself back in the zone, but I did just have a week long vacation. So it's fine. I'm kind of ready to go back to work because I know I have so many emails and that is something that bothers me and I'm the type of person that likes to answer an email ASAP and I didn't do that this past week. I answered a few, but tomorrow I, I'm like ready to, to answer my emails again and I have a couple meetings. Back to the grind, but it's okay. It's life. It's the way the cookie crumbles. And you know what? The thing that I have to look forward to is that now that 
that this beach trip is over. So it's July 16th, we're halfway through July. Now that this is over, I can get excited for fall. I know that's crazy. For those of you that like are not on my wavelength, crazy to you. But I just received two things today from Amazon that I ordered for my fall decorate with me. I'm not like doing that yet, but it, I got them on Prime Day. So I just went ahead and got them because they were discounted. Literally next month is when I'm gonna be filming that and I'm so excited. And then at the end of this month, I'm going to see my friends and I'm really excited. But for sure after that little trip, I'm only, I'm going to Gracie's house and we're going for just the weekend. I have that at the end of this month, then my birthday, and then we decorate for fall and we get into that content. So leave a comment down below if you have ever been to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, or if you would like to go or where you normally take your family vacations if you go on one. I would like to know. I'm intrigued. That's it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it down below, subscribe, do all of the things, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.